Hello, Sagittarius sun signs, rising signs, and moons. This is your September tarot scope from me, Kim at Expressions of the Universe, and I love the cards that I pulled for the Sages. It's so great. The first two weeks of September, we have a stellium in Virgo. The sun is in Virgo. The moon just moved out of Virgo. Mars, Mercury, Venus are all in Virgo for the first two weeks leading up to the full harvest moon in Pisces. And that's where my focus is for all of us for September because it's the most energetic. So what are we doing? We are organizing. We're getting our affairs in order. We're paying attention to the details for the next two weeks. We are looking at our health, we're looking at our finances, our bills, making sure everything is in order, making sure everything is paid so that we can go out and play. I know those you little centaurs, you love running about and playing all of the time, expending that fire energy. What I want to point out, the full harvest moon on September 14th, will be at 12.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then it's going to go void, of course, which always says to me, be careful, be careful. So we could feel and see a lot of inconsistencies going on around us. We could feel detached and disconnected from this physical reality with it being Pisces. It's a perfect time for ceremony. It's a perfect time for wishes coming true. So I do love that. I wouldn't sign any contracts during that time, during that weekend. I wouldn't start any brand new relationships that weekend, but it's a great time to set your intentions and your goals for personal growth. Do you hear that? That's that's my beagle playing with a cat toy. Um, he's a Gemini. Anyway, then we do have the new moon in Libra on September 28th at 5 degrees at 2.26 a.m. By the way, the September 14th full moon, that's at 21 degrees, and that aligns with Sagittarius philosophy. So for the Sagittarius sun signs, rising signs, and moons, the focus for the next two weeks, it's leading up to the sixth house, and that's health, services, our pets. So how apropos. My theme for the Sages is sweet results await. You'll see. So the first card that I chose, and this is from the John Holland Psychic Tarot deck, I consider this my healing deck, my crystal deck, my animal totem deck, and then my happy, happy deck is, whoa, whoa, patience and planning. So for you, Sages, sun signs, rising signs, and moon, patience is a virtue. It, it, this, these first two weeks, this is about plotting things out, planning things, paying, like I said, paying attention to the details organizing, taking a look at everything from the past, seeing what worked for you, what didn't work for you, how will you use this going forward. I think that this really sets you up. And look at those two towers. This talks about integrity, which is what Virgo energy is about. Integrity, virtue, the truth. And these two pillars, this is what you're developing within yourself, the two pillars of strength. Now, my crystal card for you, it's Malachite, and I did, did pull out my favorite Malachite for you. Now, this is a super healing heart chakra stone, but this Malachite, this is actually pointing out in this reading, this is about getting your your thoughts, your mind clear. This is clarity. This is connecting your thoughts and intuition together. This is clearing out a cluttered mind. The animal totem card is B spirit. Now, 
this be spirit this says sweet rewards await this is about connecting body mind and spirit all together and knowing that the sweet nectar of life is awaiting for you this is about you connecting to the collective hive um, this is about you connecting to the universe this is a super manifesting super abundant time for the Sagittarius Sun signs rising signs and moons and my happy happy card backs that up because it's Treasure Island now Treasure Island speaks about vast amounts of abundance prosperity joy happiness this also has us taking a look at and appreciating what we already have. So I think with Jupiter just uh, going direct in Sagittarius, so now we're moving forward. It will stay there until December 2nd when it moves into Capricorn. But this is about you reaping the rewards from now, September, all the way through the beginning of December, taking advantage of this super abundant prosperity. Now, if you're feeling a lack mentality, which would be the reverse of this card, this is asking you to step back and take a look at everything that you have, be appreciative and grateful for everything you have, so that you could attract more into your life because when we don't appreciate what we have we can't attract more because the universe God whoever it is that you believe in says well you know I, I brought all these miracles to these little ponies and they still are wanting they still feel as though you know they don't have enough and therefore I'm not bringing any more so that's kind of what happens. Um, I think that's why this Malachi card talks about getting your mind straight and clearing out the clutter in the mind, clearing up your perceptions of what you have and what you don't have. And that's also part of this bee totem. So the bee also symbolizes the impossible dream. And accomplishing things that those people around you said you could not accomplish. This little bee says anything is possible. But don't forget, you have to be patient. Patience is a virtue for the Sagittarius sun signs, rising signs, and moons for the entire month of September. So that's all I have for you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please share it with your friends. Please show me some love by giving me some thumbs up. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future videos coming out. Uh, be sure to check expressionsoftheuniverse.com and on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Until October, Sages. Bye.